Hello to all and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is a spiritual guidance reading for the day of February 22nd of 2023. For this reading, I've been guided to the Sacred Traveler's Deck by Denise Lynn, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So the first card we have is the Answer the Call Deck. A uh, uh, card, pardon me. Uh, so Spirit is saying the time is now. We talked about on February 21st, for some, there's this realization of a breakthrough. And now there's like this stepping through the doorway here recognizing that the time is now to go out into the world and to let your light shine in some way. So some may have been kind of trapped, stuck in some way, but now that doorway has opened and spirit has sent in that beautiful deer there saying, come with me, I'll help walk the journey with you. In the thoughts position, we have the wondrous universe card and spirits just saying there will be many on the 22nd of February who are walking in the beauty of what they have created for themselves. Those who took action are recognizing that the opportunity has arrived. Those who have had faith that what you have been hoping for and thinking about, planning, maybe taking action to do, now you can walk in the beauty of that. In the relationship sector, we have taking shelter. So again, um, there's like a connection to the world around and then there's kind of like going within and just kind of recognizing the answers in connection to those around you. You know, I answered the call, I'm stepping into the new, I'm connecting with those around me and I'm just walking in the beauty of uh, what I have created here. In the creative aspects position, we have the rainbow blessings card. So there's this realization that blessings are showering into my life. It's like this, a lot of this deck is journeying into the direction of this castle. And now there's this looking out from the castle at the beautiful rainbow, some form of aha moment. The realization of some form of blessing that you have created. So give thanks to Spirit, because Spirit is walking this journey with you, probably guided you towards the right people, the right direction, for those who knew what you wanted to accomplish here. So on the 22nd of February, in the actions position, we have the Desert Passage card, the realization that your actions by this point in time have, trust, uh, have guided you towards and down a divine path uh, in connection to a divine plan. So in idea or different ideas or opportunities that you were researching, there's like this realization now that I can step into the direction of this planning that I've been working on or towards. So emotionally, it's like, you know what? I can take time to go within. I actually enjoy my quiet time um, because I am enjoying the peace uh, that is prevailing in my life, in my emotions. So subconsciously, there is this realization for many that, you know, um, I'm ready to step into a new territory, direction of sorts, home, business, location, uh, just like a, into the direction of an energy of solitude and comfort. So spirit's saying, yes, indeed, remember, you are exactly where you need to be. And now it's time to maybe just write down, you know, what has unfolded before you and the positive energy that you feel. In the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the impasse card. So there's like a reflection and then a redirection of energy. My energy has shifted into the direction. I answered the call. The time is now and... Uh, I am shifting my focus. I am reflecting on the blessings and a divine plan. So in the inner strengths position, for those who have not figured out this divine plan for yourself, which you create in your thoughts, which you hope and pray for, Spirit saying, we're giving you the strength to recognize within yourself. For beneath the surface of who you are, if you will uncover your soul's talents, your gifts, what it is you want to learn about, do, or create. There's a divine path for you as well. 
So step into unknown territory and enjoy moments of pause and reflection for eventually some blessings are going to shower in your life and your energy is going to be redirected. Now in a three card summary, we have the narrow pathway, the embracing enthusiasm card and the cleansing waters card. So we have spirit saying tread thoughtfully as you surrender to the journey. Spirit is helping you to enjoy the ebb and flow and are guiding your boat into the direction it is meant to go. This unknown territory that makes some maybe a little bit anxious, but Spirit's saying release control. You're going to recognize uh, that there is going to be support all around you. Some you may be traveling lightly into a direction to check something out, and Spirit's saying, yeah, now is the time to expand your horizons to embrace the enthusiasm of the magic that is unfolding before you. Enjoy the journey, Spirit Sane, for you will eventually be discovering the truth from within you, the fact that you have worked towards this gateway to triumph, and now you are looking out of that doorway onto a divine path and a great adventure. Spirit saying, take a risk, venture forward because you are being protected by the angels at this time. At some point, you will be able to continue to climb the mountains in a way where now you feel purified. You're not um, worried. Okay, so Spirit saying, keep moving forward, follow your bliss. Everything will be smooth sailing. For there will be a realization that you have overcome obstacles and now you can choose a path. A breakthrough is at hand and now it's a time to heal and let go. Savor your life or you will be because many are creating or will discover some form of sanctuary. So this could be a great time to just create uh, something that can soothe your nerves, you know, meditation, exercising, eating right, to journal that, to share your knowledge and wisdom eventually with the world around you. If you've been helping others to heal in some way, this is the gift, Spirit's saying, um, that is a divine plan that will unfold. Uh, so answer the call, you know, uh, follow up on calls, and then enjoy those moments of solitude as this unexpected territory becomes available here. All right, so to confirm and clarify these messages, I'm going to bring in the Black Tarot deck illustrations by Victoria Iva available from www.debris.com. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed for whoever needed to hear this information most on February 22nd of 2023. Spiritual advice and or the astrological signs and or elements of who by which spirit is wanting for me to translate for you. All right, so we had a card jump. Queen of Wands. This is a very passionate energy, male or female. This is, I know that the time is now. I know that this is coming because I have set and met goals. Now I'm accomplishing certain goals and now I'm getting excited to build upon those goals. A lot of excitement at the beginning or during the day of February 22nd. Answer the call. Make sure your phone is nearby. Uh, in the thoughts position, we have a truth, a realization of a path of victory. The realization that the wondrous universe here uh, has helped for you to receive this call, uh, to get this call. Pardon me, I don't know why my computer is doing that. Okay. Interesting. So something about a call. It did that twice. Uh, okay, so in the relationship sector, we have the Queen of Swords energy. So we have the Queen of Wands setting and meeting goals. We have the Queen of Swords maintaining those boundaries in relation to others. Knowing that you're, you're where you're meant to be right now, working on a path of victory. This is all about you, right? King of Cups. Oh boy. So in the foundation, we have... Uh, a masculine type energy whose emotions are very balanced here. Uh, this could be you, water energies, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, recognizing that blessings are showering in your life. 
uh, there could be someone here who is dealing with two. Could be a Queen of Wands, Air, uh, I'm sorry, Fire, Sagittarius, or Leo, or the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Uh, someone is uh, needing to go deep and figure out uh, the truth, a truth. Let's continue. In the actions position, we have the Knight of Swords energy. So someone here uh, or something is going to transpire very quickly or someone's going to come quickly into the direction of this masculine. Oh my. Trust that there's a divine plan, take shelter and sit in solitude. If that part of this is your story, the Eight of Wands, yeah, we have quick and unexpected communication, trying to get to a truth of a situation. Someone may be in a very passionate connection and are wanting to get to the truth of that. This is more of a personal type energy. In the subconscious position, we have the Knight of Cups. So we got the King of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups. We got uh, playful energy, wanting maybe to go into uh, a playful new direction because of an unexpected offer or opportunity from someone that I feel can be trusted. If this is work, yes, this unexpected opportunity is coming in and it's going to be a successful and divine journey. In the day-to-day -day aspects, yeah, because we got the Eight of Pentacles. So reflecting and redirecting a connection, personal connection, and in, in instead shifting your direction towards the research of some form of offer or opportunity in the area of money or things of the material. In the inner strengths position, we have the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, we do have someone here on the 22nd of February who's been really, really worried or is still a little worried about money or about opening up in some way, but Spirit saying, uh, uncover the treasure that lies deep within you for there is a divine plan waiting ahead of you to be discovered. Go playfully into the direction of your truth, the path of victory. What does that path look like? For Spirit is listening. Spirit is helping for you to create an opportunity to bring the blessings in that Spirit wants to bring your way. There's something deep within someone here, and I don't know if it's like you've created something, you're afraid to put it out into the world, but that's how we grow. That's how people identify that we are in existence here. That's how we give birth to what we have created in the physical world around us. And there is a divine plan if you'll answer the call the time is now what you are creating could definitely bring these wonderful blessings into your life and the realization of uh, a divine plan all right so I'm going to close with a message from the guardian angel deck by Doreen Virtue Closing message, please, for the collective for the day of February 22nd of 2023. So seven of abundance. Yes, now is the time. And there's a lot about patience, taking shelter, taking some time out, finding solace and solitude in the card says when it comes to money, be patient. Sometimes these dreams do grow slowly, but do not worry. The hard work that you have invested or are still investing will bring about a bountiful harvest. Now is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward rather quickly with the Eight of Wands energies, definitely representing business. So use this time to rest and plan, even with the Eight of Pentacles, to research a divine plan spirits trying to bring your way yep hard work and sincere efforts are going to lead to safety contentment and financial security keep on keeping on don't let anybody stand in your way all right 
So, should these messages have resonated for you and or you would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. That is a one-month reading as well. So thank you so, so very much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you to those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month readings and to those of you who've been gifting these readings to others. That has been a lot of fun. Thank you for those donations as well. Take care and God bless.